There is no fear in this dojo, only laughter. <laughs> <laughs> Let's sweep the leg and get you giggling with these hilarious bloopers. Miyagi-Do versus Cobra Kai. Good versus bad, or bad versus good, depending on which side you're on. That doesn't matter, though, since the big question is, who's the best fighter out of the cast? According to Peyton List, it comes down to two people. I would say Jacob and Tanner, I think. I, I've been waiting to see them fight in real life. Jacob Bertrand wasn't overly happy about her fence sitting here, asking her to name just one person. After all, this is between Miyagi-Do and Cobra Kai, so she needs to pick a side. Just one person, who would you pick? <laughs> What the hell? Why are you doing this? <laughs> um, I would say, I would say Jacob. Whoa! Stop the press! Tori just sided with Miyagi Do here. Is this a spoiler for season five? But while we're speaking about fighters, who is number one between Sam and Tori? Peyton came in uh, our second season knowing no karate and picked that up oh, like true. it was nobody's business. Wow. Damn. Is Miguel turning heel on his girlfriend here? The truth is, it's tough to answer, honestly, because when it comes to clumsiness, both Tori and Sam are equally all over the place. In fact, poor Tori is prone to damaging props and the set on occasion, much like Sam. Remember their epic fight at Daniel's house where she and Sam used weapons and pretty much trashed everything? Well, just take a look at what happens here. <laughs> Oh my gosh! It's a good thing that there are multiple takes allowed because you can imagine if we saw all the first take fights between Tori and Sam, then the show would really be a sitcom. But let's not move on from Tori too quickly here. She might seem overly serious on the show, but Peyton is anything but behind the scenes. She always seems to find herself in the middle of the on-set shenanigans. And her castmates love nothing more than to pull a few epic pranks on her as well. As Peyton was preparing for her big moment in the season 4 finale, the makeup artist applied some finishing touches for her battle-worn look. Well, her castmates didn't seem to care about what she looked like as they decided to get in her face much like Tori would with anyone else. <laughs> Ouch. That looked kinda painful. Well, there was certainly no rest for Peyton on the day, as she couldn't even celebrate a win on her own without being pranked. Just look at Jacob, who had to interrupt her victorious celebrations here. <laughs> Though, Peyton got her own back by laying the smackdown on him and showing who really is the All-Valley Champion. Cobra God! Cobra God! Cobra God! Oh, oh, oh. Okay, now we definitely want to see Tori vs. Hawk as the main event fight in the next season. The playful feud between Jacob and Peyton extends into the real world as well. Turns out that what Peyton does, Jacob needs to do as well. He's such a copycat. In fact, his fans encouraged him to dress up as the Little Mermaid like Peyton did. So everyone's been asking me, oh my god, Jacob, how come you weren't in the, the mermaid outfit? We want you in the mermaid outfit. Oh. But did he do it? Of course he did. Is this what you wanted? Is this what you asked for? Hmm, he makes a pretty good Ariel. So you gotta wonder what other Disney princesses he could bring to life. Though Peyton might have something to say about him always trying to steal her limelight here. Make no mistake about it, the soul of Cobra Kai is the core theme of the show. While Johnny wanted nothing more than to bring honor to the dojo, he was met with reluctance and opposition by his former sensei, John Kreese. There have been several great battles between the two across the various seasons. However, the time when Kreese flung Johnny into the mirror was simply ah, chef's kiss. Though the scene didn't play out as originally planned the first time around, instead it actually looked pretty funny. <laughs> If the two had shared some laughs in the actual storyline, it's likely that they'd still be good pals on the show instead of mortal enemies. It's a little bit like Johnny and Daniel, really. Those two are constantly bickering over a fight that took place decades ago. It also doesn't help that Billy Zabka likes to tease Ralph Macchio by saying stuff like this. Hey Maya, it's Billy Zabka, you know, the real Karate Kid from the Karate Kid movies. Sheesh, those are some fighting words, aren't they? But do you blame him considering how Daniel stole Johnny's girlfriend all those years ago? 
ago. Even so, it's funny to see how Billy confuses what happened, like he did this time here. Karate Kid's about a guy that moves from New Jersey and steals a guy's boyfriend, a girlfriend. Oh, well, that's a whole that's other a whole Karate way. That's the wrong movie. Watching how they behave, though, it isn't too hard to imagine these two arguing like a couple who've been married forever. All the fighting aside, it's sweet to see how Billy acknowledges Ralph's overall importance and significance to his character. There's no Johnny Lawrence without your Daniel LaRusso. Aww. One of the saddest moments in Cobra Kai was the school fight between Robbie and Miguel, which left the latter in hospital and paralyzed for a period of time. It was a shocking moment, as no one knew if Miguel would survive or recover from this accident. Also, it was a reminder of how these constant fights can lead to real pain and tragedy, and goes beyond being a petty battle for karate supremacy. Of course, behind the scenes, the actors took all the care in the world to not hurt each other during this physical encounter. Despite the seriousness and tenseness of the scene, Sholo Mariduena couldn't help but occupy himself in a different manner. But you still gotta catch them all, though. <laughs> <laughs> He's right, though. You just gotta catch them all, no matter the moment. And speaking of moments, one of the most underrated characters in the series is Chris. Yo, wake up, bro. Wake up. <laughs> He's had some epic battles on the show, and the odd one-liner or two. You got a better idea, smartass? Yet, he still doesn't get the respect that he deserves. Turns out that he's a showstopper behind the scenes, and in the moments that don't get added to the final episodes. Like, seriously, check out his performance here at the All Valley. Now that would have definitely taken away from Hawk's shining moment. Though even he couldn't help but bow to that performance. We're not worthy of that type of excellence. Has anyone alerted the casting agents that he's the perfect candidate for a Magic Mike reboot? When you step into a dojo, you're expected to be prepared and to have your head in the game. After all, if you drop your hands, someone could end up dropping you with a roundhouse kick to the head. Or in the case of Miguel, you could just tumble backwards because you lost your footing. You want to do this? Like, you don't have to. Oh. I wasn't sure we're supposed to do it. <laughs> oh, Miguel, he's a former All Valley champion, but sometimes it feels like he's missing the balance that Mr. Miyagi spoke about. While it might have been more about a figurative than literal balance, Miguel would benefit from understanding both of these meanings. Honestly, just take a look at this encounter he had with Hawk. <laughs> Too much of the snake do, hey? Through all the fights and battles, there is a life lesson behind Cobra Kai. No matter which dojo you align yourself to, it's all about growth and learning. What do you think we've all learned from each other? Dude, I don't know. We're all a mess. <laughs> Sigh. Of course they had to say that. Mary Mouser couldn't be left out of the conversation here either, adding the following. Yeah. One word to describe this, this, this dynamic here is definitely chaotic. And chaotic love. is good, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's clear to see that the cast loves spending time with each other and having a good laugh. In fact, they even divulged a few secrets about each other that many fans might not know about. When asked who the biggest rule breaker is, the answer is likely to shock you. Or maybe not if you consider the character on screen. Okay, so ready? Three, two, one, Jacob! Did we all say Jacob? <laughs> yeah. Hmm. So you see, it has nothing to do with being a part of Cobra Kai or Miyagi-Do, as it's all to do with the students. But does that mean that Jacob doesn't respect the strike first, strike hard, no mercy, or does he? Now that's a question to be answered another time. When it comes to laughter, we promise no mercy here. But do you think you could stomach a few more chuckles? Well, then check out our other Cobra Kai blooper videos and let the good times roll, or roundhouse kick you in the funny bone. And while you're at it, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and stay awesome.